Uh, Darren, <laughs> what are the uh, changes? Oh, well, obviously, Marnus comes back in. He's obviously been the form player of the Australian summer, hasn't he? So he comes back into our squad, and, and Jack Presley misses out this time. So um, Marnus will, will definitely play. As long as he's recovered well, we'll see him today. He had an extra day off yesterday after just arriving. So he'll have a light hit to, tomorrow, and he pulls up all right, then you know, away he goes. Who do you think he comes in for in the batting lineup, or are you going to go with? Uh, you know, one bowl or fewer, or how's it? Oh, again, we'll sum it up with conditions. There's some storms around tomorrow night again, so hopefully they, they stay away and we have a, a full 20 over game. It's a high quality game against the Sixers. Uh, I, I see him in the middle order, so we'll have to work, work out who misses out there. Someone's going to be unlucky, and that's uh, just the way it is, considering you've got a high class player coming back in. Uh, yeah, it was, it was hard, wasn't it, for a couple of days? I mean, disappointing because we as a batting unit, we, we've got to be better than that. That's that's simple, but that's the, everyone from 1 to 11 got about better. Even our tail got about better. So everyone, once we had the start, you know, the, the batters that were in should have gone on with it and then the blokes following should have got the jobs done. So it's just a whole mental side of the game that's got to change a little bit. But, uh, you know, they're getting themselves into good positions. That's the pleasing thing from a coach's point of view. And then the, you know, disappointing finish for us. So, you know, we've bowled really well all tournament, I reckon. Um, our batting's just sort of been up and down, inconsistent throughout the tournament. So we've got to find that consist consistency now leading into the back end. You hope Manus provides that shot in the arm for the, the, the batting lineup. Yeah, he's exciting, isn't he? Uh, one as a player, but also his energy he brings to the group and he can bowl some handy overs. So uh, as, a, as a batsman, he's been a high class all summer. So expect him to come in and, and do his role and do it well. And if they're doing that, then you know, we'll make enough runs. Can you put your finger on just what goes wrong with the, those, those batting collapses? Because unfortunately, I guess it, it, it's happened a couple of times. Yeah, it has happened a couple of times. There's no shying away from it. Uh, it's a case of us just getting better in the in the pressure situations. So, and making sure that guys are in, stay in for longer, and, and put the pressure back on the bowlers. So, we've done that well in a couple of games, uh, and then not so well in a couple of games. So, that's the challenge for the batting group to get to get better, uh, and the whole group. I mean, it's it's coaches, it's players, and just understanding the pressures there. It, I know what it's like as a former player. That, the pressure of playing in front of big crowds and that, and understand that you've just got to do, do the job for the team at the time, so, and not think too far ahead. Do you think it's almost a cultural thing, Look, because the team, sort of over the history of the club, has kind of made a master of losing the unlosable games? Uh, up and down, haven't we? have been for a, a long period of time now, um, and, and that's what we're trying to strive for, consistency, and we haven't done that this year yet, so that's a great challenge for the playing group, to actually get that, you know, consistency all the time, each time you go out and play, and know you're going to, you know, if you're chasing a total, you're going to be really close either way, whether you win or lose, and, and not get blown out, uh, blown away by 30, 40 runs and such. Is there yeah. an art yeah. to the, the, the chase? Because so, uh, unfortunately, I guess it's, there's collapses yeah, it's, more, it's, more often than It's, it's having more guys more in, chasing. you know, having guys in and guys going for big runs. I mean, you know, Chris and Sam played really well and, and both got, you know, 40, 50. Need one of those guys to go on and get 60 or 70, and, and then the other guys to, to bat around them in partnerships. So we've got the experience there. You know, AB de Villiers, we, he was disappointed with you know the way he played, but I'm sure he'll come back well. And we've got some class players, and Marnus as that. So I'm not pre pressing the panic button. We just want to perform better under pressure. It's going to sound like a weird question, mm -hmm. but is Leaning almost the problem in that the boys rely on him too much to do a bulk? Oh, no, I don't think so. Uh, I, I think what you want from Linney is to, to make those big runs again. You know, he's getting us off to a flyer and he's been excellent at that throughout the tournament. He got some you know, big scores early on in the year. But everyone's got to step up as a batting group. And it's not just Chris Lynn. It's, it's about us and the team and the partnerships provided with Chris and whoever he's batting with um, getting the job done. So for us, it's more about the whole team uh, ethos getting right together is instead of a, one sorry, bloke. You're do you right. consider this like a must win? Is that the attitude? Oh, every game's a must win. You want to win every game, don't you? So, it's disappointing for our fans. You know, we let our fans down the other night. You know, we should have finished that game off. We didn't. So now it's a case of making sure you win every game from now, if, if possible. Yeah, was Joe ever in consideration? I guess he probably hasn't batted as well as he normally would like his usual. Since yeah, it's, it's one of those things. I mean, Joe will be in consideration. We'll just sum it up. I mean, Joe could have opened the batting the other night. We went with Sam, and Sam did a good job. So the matchups have been pretty right. We just have to sum up what the best makeup is for, for this game. Steve Smith should have been back in the lineup, which is always uh, an interesting one. He's hard to prepare for because he hasn't played a lot of BBL cricket. No, he's a pretty good player though, isn't he? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's going to be a great atmosphere tomorrow night. I mean, you get uh, Smith back, obviously, Marnus coming back in. So it's two quality sides. Six is a, a second on the table. So we, we played well against them down in, in Sydney early on in the year. But that was on the back of you know some unbelievable hitting from a, a few of the guys. So we've got to actually get together and, and come up with a plan again to, to put them under some pressure uh, and worry about what we're doing and do it well. 
Um, what was your sort of, I guess, coaching attitude towards it? Do you slam the players? Do you berate them, or do you just go quiet? So, how, how did you deal with that? Oh, they've had they've had a couple of those, but we as a group speak about it. I, I mean, just speaking about it in general and trying to come up with the solutions to why it's happening, trying to stop it, rectify it, and, and make sure we're learning all the time. That's what we're trying to do. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit over all the ranting and raving these days. Joe <laughs> slammed his bat into the pitch when he was out there. What was it like in the in the dressing room? Uh, no, no, I was no, I was pretty quiet. You know, just disappointed because, as a group, we let you know fans down over there and everyone watching. So, you know, it was more quiet. But again, you know, the sun came up, and we just got to play better cricket. What's the pass mark for this team? Oh, you want to make finals? That's uh, that's a pass mark. So we've got to play well in the next three games to do that. And ideally, we'd love to have a finals at home. But you know, we're gonna have to win all three to possibly have an opportunity there. Oh good, no problems. That's right. Thanks very much, guys.